expectation of God to hold you captive. God wants to do something new. Something new in our heart, something new in our home, in our marriage, in our relationship, in our job, in our church, in our community, even in our business. God says, I want to do something that is new since. And what do you mean, brother, the since? Actually, what the Lord is saying, matagal ko na itong sinasabi niya, I've been telling you this, that I'm going to do something new. It says on Isaiah 42, verse 9, look at this. What is the Lord saying here? Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Listen to this, and I want you to highlight this. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. What does it mean? But don't know what the Lord saying. Before I procreate it, I already proclaim it. Meaning to say, hindi ko pa ginagawa, sinabi ko na sa inyo. I haven't done it yet, but I already told it to you. But look at the problem. We did not see it. Why? Because we are so blinded with our past. We are so much focused on our past. We cannot move forward. We cannot see what is ahead of us. We cannot hear what the Lord is telling us because we are so busy with our past sin and with our past suffering. Has God spoken anything in your life that He told you that He wants to do it through you and around you? Meron na bang sinabi ang Panginoon sa inyo? He says, even before I perform it, I proclaim it. He says, what I want to do is something new. Something that is unparalleled. Something that is unusual, uncustomary, un unconditional, unexpected, uncommon, unthinkable, unheard of something that is move of God. Yung hindi nyo pa nakikita, yun ang gagawin ko. That is what God is telling here. And He, he has been telling this even before he started doing it. God says, I want to do something new, something press around you that has not been done. But now listen to this, and this is very critical. And uh, this is one of the main things that I'd like to really focus here. If we attempt to restrict, restrain, or regulate God's performance in our present or our future according to the moves of the past performance, we will forfeit our future. Do you get it? Let me repeat. If we're going to attempt to restrict, restrain, or regulate the performance of God through our presence, or our future according to the move or past performance, we perfect our future. God says, I want to do something new, something that hasn't been done. You know, the problem is, it doesn't happen because we put him in a box. We try to limit what God can perform in our life by simply thinking, this is the only thing God can do. Because we base our thinking on our past experience. Ito lang ang kaya gawin ng Lord kasi ito lang yung mga nakita ko sa Kanya in the past. Eh. This is the only thing that God can do because these are the only things that I have seen and experienced. But what did the Lord say? I will do something new that you haven't experienced yet. That you haven't seen it yet. You've been asking for long, you know, so Lord, Lord, I've been asking this thing and I haven't seen it yet. No, He can do it for you. Don't expect things that God uh, will do for us is yung mga nangyari lang in the past. You know, uh, God says, do you know who I am? I in the business I am not in the business of repeating myself, but God says, I can do something new. God says, you know, come here, Noah. Can you testify on God's behalf that he can do something new? That he always called to have someone to do something new, unimaginable, 
So anong ginawa niya kay Noah? Sabi niya kay Noah, Noah, come here. I want to do something new. Build an ark. Nobody did it yet, but I want you to do it because I want to, to do something new and to prove something new for everyone. Right? And that's the same thing he did for Moses. He called Joshua. You know, uh, uh, sabi ni Moses called Joshua, go around and march on the Israel. And then on the end, they, they just shout. That's something new, right? Wala pang gumawa noon. And that's the same thing God did to Elijah. And sabi niya kay Elijah, tell the prophet, uh, I mean, the, 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 that soldier, pangalan uh, Niman, right? To jump into the river, maglublub ka seven times, and, and, and you will get healed. That is something new. Nobody did it. Nobody have done it yet. And that is what God is saying. He will do something new in our life. God said, your new future does not look like your old life. Okay? The text says, as you conceive your new future, you must perceive something new. Okay. We must have a fresh vision. Uh, it's in verse 19. Sabi I'm about to do a new thing. Now it's spring forth. And watch this. Here's the question. Ano sabi ng Lord? Sabi niya ganun, shall ye not know it? May question dun eh, di ba? Do you not receive it? He says, can you perceive it? And listen to this. He says, I can perform it if you can perceive it. Ang sabi ng Lord, pwede kong gawin yan kung makikita ninyo. Sabi niya ganun, I will do new things. Shall you know it? Makita niyo kaya? Yun ang ibig sabihin ng Lord eh. I will do something new, pero ma 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 makita nyo kaya, can you perceive it? That is what the Lord is saying. You see, part of the problem with fresh start is that, okay, two pages na lang. Pagbigyan nyo na ako, birthday naman ni Ate nyo. Hindi na kung pa siya Okay, see the problem with fresh start? Sabi niya ganon, is that if some of us cannot perceive anything new, uh, actually, we got to perceive it. And let me put it this way. If God doesn't bring me out of my current landscape, He can do an eco ecological transformation to where I am. Looking at other words, He can bring water to where I am, even in my desert, He can cut a new road. So, brother, what are you saying here? So, what I'm trying to say here is that Sometimes we don't we don't think that God can put us or can bring us to something new because we're saying nandito kasi ako eh you know this is my situation but that is what the Lord is saying here you know can you see it can you perceive it right and we have to remember that even though we are on that situation God can transform that situation into something new Hindi ibig sabihin that because you are in this this uh, pit right now, you are stuck to that. You know? Hindi ibig sabihin na porki nasa disyerto kayo, you cannot even enjoy the lilies of the water. Because even if you are in the desert of your life, God could take that lilies of the water and bring it to you. He could bring it in the desert. It's not because we are limited because of the desert, but the desert, you know, God can change or turn that desert into something refreshing. That is what I'm trying to say here. So I mean, I will make even a way in the wilderness and in the rivers and rivers in the desert. Miski nasa desert kayo, dadalhin ko yung rivers sa inyo. That is what the Lord is saying. Even though you have full of troubles, I could, you know, I could, Kung hindi ko man kayo madala doon sa lugar na yon, I will bring happiness in you. That is what the Lord is saying here. Right? <clears throat> Sabi ang gano'n, although I'm in the wilderness, but when it's my season to come out, He's going to cut a room to bring me out. I may be the world as lamb, but not stay in the woods, since He is not only going to give me a new rose, but he is going to give me a new river. A new river means that he's going to going to refresh me, he's going to restore me, he's going to renew me, and he's going to revive me. 
So let me go now to my last point. Okay? Last point. Which is part of my conclusion and challenge. You know, <clears throat> going to have a fresh start, uh, not only to change our focus, that's point number one, not only to conceive our new future, that is point number two, but number three, we must celebrate His constant faithfulness. We must celebrate God's constant faithfulness. Look at verse 43, I mean, uh, verse 20 to 21. The beast of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the all, because I give waters in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. These people have I formed myself. They shall shoot forth my praise. So what is the Lord saying here? God is saying, the ones that I have delivered, okay, by one? the ones that I have sustained, is it you? The ones that I have kept, by one? the ones that I have survived, the least thing that they can do is to give me some praise. And sabi ng Lord, He is expecting us, sabi niya, these people have I formed for myself. They shall shoot for it my face. So, in, in closing, that's not it. three points for the new year. How can we have a fresh start? Number one, which is the most important thing, forget our past. Say, man, I'm done with you. You are behind. Okay? Move forward. Forget your passing. Forget your past suffering. Even your success. You know, that was last year. This is a new year, right? And then we have to consider our new future. God wants us to plan ahead because He said, I'm going to do something new, something that you haven't tasted yet. That I'm going to give you something. That's exciting. Excited ba kayo? Ako, excited na. Hindi ba lang kung nagbibigay sa akin. Anong malay natin? Bigyan ako ng bagong, bagong bahay, bagong sasakyan. Wow, di ba? That's the Lord said. Something new that I haven't experienced yet. O baka naman yun, that is for you. Yeah? But remember this. The most important thing is the Lord is expecting something from us. And that is the case here. And let's start doing it. Let's call the praise and worship team for our uh, response song. But let me close this in prayer first. Let's come to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, we would like to thank you once again uh, for this evening, Lord God, for this wonderful day. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us a perspective of what do we need to do to have a fresh start. Thank you, Lord God, for the experience of uh, the people of God in the Old Testament. How Isaiah gave them a glimpse of how you are going to recover them from exile. Thank you, Lord. And uh, Lord, we pray that uh, this word is not only going to be stuck in our mind, but this is something that we could put into practice. Thank you, Lord God, for the promise. And thank you, Lord God, we are all excited of what we would like to accomplish in our life. All these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.